Hi everyone, welcome to my next lecture of normalization and in this lecture we will talk about second normal form and we will talk about how EF Cord would have thought about second normal form rather than trying to explain what second normal form is. So let me begin with the, with the recap of what we have done previously. We were designing an application for uh, for um, for a showroom that sells out electronics good and it's my showroom and I have employed EF Cord for database designing in, in this case and this is just an example it's nothing real about it so you know, we'll move forward with that so in first normal in the first lecture we have seen how uh, we figured out that there were repeating elements and whenever there are repeating elements we have to create a new entity and that new entity we called it order details in order master we stored order number, order date, customer name, customer address and phone number and order details we stored order number, item name and amount which were the repeating part of the elements and this is how we designed the application and because of this the screen that will be that we will be seeing would be something like this that has order number, order date, customer name, customer address, phone number then um, you have the choice to do item, choose item and amount. So you can choose washing machine, you can choose refrigerator, and then you can put in the amount. And when you say add item, it gets added to a sub list over here. And when you say submit, all this data goes and gets stored in the order details table. This is what we have done till now. We'll take a step further and we'll see what new complexities we are going to face in this type of a design. So let's go ahead. So after designing this, what happened was um, I was quite confident that we, I would be able to run my shop effectively until one day where my assumption that everybody would order one quantity of one type, they will buy one refrigerator, they would buy one LCD TV, they would buy one washing machine went wrong. Someone came into my shop and said that <laughs> I need a couple of refrigerators or I need a couple of washing machines so you have to do the quantity into two so there were two uh, choices with me to put in two order number uh, in the same order first choose a washing machine then again choose a washing machine and that's how the two washing machines would be shown in the particular order details rather than that I thought that I should have a quantity item so the quantity item so I can put in the quantity so if someone says that he needs two refrigerators I can put it refrigerator over here and I can put the quantity two. and I figured out that it's a repeating part of the element so it should also be showing up over here quantity so this would become two when I say add item this is one and this is one Okay. And when I will submit, it has to go into the database. Now the choice with me is whether I put it in the master table or I put it in the detail table. Then I remembered EF Cord's argument that uh, since it's a repeating part of the group, you should always put it in the details table. So I went ahead and introduced a new column called as quantity. <coughs> okay. This is how, how we got to this uh, item of quantity. Then he also told me that uh, I was also particularly what happened was the number of models and number of uh, items in my store was uh, becoming too large like Samsung introduced so many refrigerators, models of refrigerators, so many models of uh, uh, LCD TVs that uh, keeping an item name as a list was not helping me. So what I did was that uh, I introduced a new column called item number, item number, and it also had item, it was also, and every item number was also associated with the item name. So it was just like saying um, item one is for refrigerator of uh, world two. Okay, so I have to introduce it again over here. So I figured it out that uh, item number is again the repeating part of the group. So I need to put it over somewhere over here. So I introduced a new column called as item number. 
for refrigerator it was 140, it was 2, for LCD it was 3. I have to put the same thing in my database over here. So I did the again came up with the rationale that uh, it should be added to the order details table. Order number and item number. Now things were becoming all the more smoother for me. I was particularly happy with the things, uh, how the, the way things were going on. Uh, until and unless something happened. So was, what happened was that uh, the items in this list grew out of control. So what happened? There were at first there were only five or ten variety that I used to keep in my showroom. Then it became hundred. Then it moved to five hundred. And at one point of time, I had even thousand items or thousand variety of items of thousand product types that that were getting sold in in my case. So that was not working out for me. I figured out that that's gonna help. That's uh, that will not gonna help me. And I need to do something about it. And I need to take care of certain criteria because I can't remember for every all of those thousand products what's the exact amount they have to be sure, sold for. So I have to do something creative so that I can remember uh, or the system itself can remember those thousand product price list and then uh, if a customer is valuable to me I can give him a discount or something like that. So I need a system to show me what would be the uh, maximum retail price that I can gain out of it and then uh, if I have to give any discount for that particular customer or the amount of products he has bought I could make adjustments to that amount. So I came up with a concept called the discount fee. Discount. And again uh, when I came up with that concept I have to divide my lower part into two columns amount and discount okay so amount 18,000 discount I can put it in percentage 5% TV say it was uh, 15,000 I can put it discount 2% LCD TV 29,000 I can put in a discount of say 10% okay. so again I figured out it's a repeating element and I went ahead and added another column called the discount column okay. the things are going fine till now and now I have a good way of putting in amount and putting in discount but remembrance by the system, what, what is the price a refrigerator ideally comes for or the maximum retail price, that also has to be built. So I figured out that uh, in order to build that, I would have to show my creativity. I would have to do something like this. I figured out to, to make that work I would have to put in some creativity of mine and for putting in some creativity of mine I would have I remember that all my order numbers are in positive sequence they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so I should be able to put in negative order numbers in my database and then whenever I choose a product from here it should go and see that negative order number and figure out that for a particular item number if it matches uh, it should get me the details